You wanted to see me, sir? Kenneth, as you may have heard, Jonathan no longer works here. Yeah, the assistants talked about it last night at Finnegan's, the bar we all go to after work. In my dreams. Yes, uh, well, obviously, I'm going to need an assistant, and I'm going to have to ask you to fill in. Well, what about my page duties? Oh, don't worry, I've taken care of that. You'll do both jobs. Now, this is a very difficult time, Kenneth. I'm gonna be counting on you. You'll do fine so long as you follow my three Ds. Discretion, docility, and don't use my bathroom. Mr. Donaghy's office. This is Kenneth. How may I help you? It's Greg Wyndham from Aviation. I'm not here. But you are here. I can see you. I don't want to talk to him. Oh, corporate intrigue. He's not in right now. I'll tell him you called. I feel like I'm in the Pelican Brief. Do I already know too much? Liz? Brad Halster, the Himmler Group, a division of Advantrix Consulting. Liz Lemon, this is my associate, Peter Hornberger. Liz, is there a conference room we can sit down and get started? Actually, I thought we'd do this outside the box. I'd like to tell you about three television programs. A comedy show, a musical variety show, and a live television event. Comedy, music show, live show. Comedy, music, live. Are you getting it? Yeah. They're all the same show. They're all TGS. Now I could stand here, Brad, and I could bore you with numbers. I could tell you that we are the number one late night show among men 9 to 13 and the morbidly obese. I could tell you that we're in final negotiations to create exclusive content for America's jails. But I'm not the one being judged here. So I thought I'd let the show speak for herself. Yes, sir! Someone put too many farts in this engine! It's about to explode! I'm Flavor Obama, and I'd like to introduce the Undersecretary of Housing and Crystal Meth. Boy! It's the Fair and Robot Talk Show. My name is Suri Cruz. Put your hands in the air. I came out of the womb with a full head of hair. It's farting! It's farting! That's our show for tonight. See you next week! This is TGS. So where's that conference room? 25%? How am I supposed to cut a quarter of our budget? Well, there's some fat. What about Sid? Sid? I can't fire our announcer. He'll lose his insurance. You know, he has a lot of health problems. Yeah, because he was hit by lightning and can't really talk anymore. It's Turgis with Tracky Jong Jong and Jimmy Moo. No, Sid is off the table. I'm not firing any of my people. I'm not doing that to their families. Or in Sid's case, their much younger wife with whom they have an open relationship. All right, we'll find the money somewhere else. The food budget? No! All right, what about straws? We spend $1,200 a year on straws. Okay, fine. No more straws. Everyone drinks from the can from now on. Oh, no, we need straws. Oh, God, that's its bathroom. Listen, Liz, I'm going to need your revised budget by the end of today. I don't know, Brad. TGS is a complicated machine. Every part's important. I get it. You don't want to be the bad guy. But if you don't make the cuts, I will. And I don't give a crap about anyone here. Matthew, I know this isn't easy, but the company's facing cutbacks, and you have to admit your boombox division is a little bit behind the times. We're not behind the times. We're groovy. I can offer you two weeks severance. Mr. Donaghy, I know you said only interrupt you if it was very important, but Tashonda from Time Warner Cable is on the phone, and she's offering three free months of showtime, but we have to act now. Kenneth, this does not qualify as something important. I do not want showtime. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to miss out on this exciting opportunity. Thank you, Kenneth. 